Hello grade 6 Our lesson today is adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles In previous years you are used to construct an angle to measure the angle using the protractor So in this year we are going to define and construct adjacent angles and vertically opposite angles and use their properties so the ob objectives of this lesson is to identify and draw two adjacent angles and to identify and draw two vertically opposite angles use the, the property of equality of two vertically opposite angles and identify complementary angles and supplementary angles so let's start let's have first a review if we have two lines d1 and d2 are parallel so they, they will do not meet if we have two concurrent or intersecting lines d1 and d2 intersect at a point as we see here, there is an angle formed between these two lines. So, if we say that ABC, we could say that this is an angle. Vertex, the sides of the angle, we have this blue side and we have the red side. So, the angle has two sides and there is only one vertex which is B so the elements of the angle are the two sides and a vertex and we have to know that each angle has a measure and the measure uh, its unit is degrees and we could measure the angle or construct an angle using an instrument called protractor so we use the protractor to measure the unit is degree and it's denoted by a small round this is the protractor so how to measure the angle we have to place the center of the protractor on the vertex of the angle one of the sides should pass through zero and then we read where the other side is passing in this case the measure of the angle is about 30 degrees so we say that a b c equal 30 degrees notice that the angle is written like this way a b c or we could use another notation which is sorry say c b a such that the vertex b is written in the middle and we put a small hat above the vertex b and we could use this notation to deduce the sides we have the side BA and the side BC the sides of the angle are semi lines as we know the starting point and we do not know where the line ends so we write that the side is BA square brackets and round bracket around A and the other side is BC we put a square bracket for B and a round one for C now let's have a look for the types of the angles in this case it's a zero angle or null angle it's a zero angle and then we have acute angle sorry let's do it again acute angle right angle 
obtuse angle and then it's a straight angle so if the measure of the angle is zero so it's called zero angle or null angle if the measure of the angle is 90 degrees it's called right angle if the measure is 180 we call it a straight angle if the measure is in between so between 0 and 90 it's called acute angle if the measure is between 90 and 180 then the angle is obtuse for two angles at the same time let's have a look for the particularity of sum we have the activity one from our books then we have to help help summer to find the sum or to fill this table you see that here we have the measure of the angle a the measure of the angle b and the sum of the angles a and b so we have to to add 23 plus 157 which is 180 120 plus 60 180 here uh, 32 plus 58 equals 90 we could find 32 by 90 minus 58 here we could find this blank by 180 minus 115 which is 65 here 90 minus 16 is 74 so 16 plus 74 is 90 41 plus 45 is 86 and finally 75 plus 80 is 155 then we are asked about three cases that the sum of the angles is equal as we see here we have 180 180 and 180 so we have three cases the sum is 180 and we have other three cases the sum also is particular which is 90 and 90 and 90 so the sum of the angles in, is equal in three cases and the sum is 90 degrees we are asked about finally two cases which differ the last two sums are different the final two cases the sum was 86 and 155 it's not particular since their sum is not 90 like right angle nor 180 like a straight angle so what are the complementary angles two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degrees supplementary angles two angles are said to be supplementary if their angles are 180 so complementary 90 degrees supplementary 180 so let's have a flow chart sum 90 is called complementary and if the sum is 180 we say that the two angles are supplementary here let's practice to find the complement and supplement of the angle here we have the angle 50 what's the complement of 50 the complement of 50 is 90 minus 50 okay so the answer is 40 what's the supplement the supplement is 180 minus 50 which is 130 so to have the complement 50 plus 40 equal 90 they become a complementary angles 50 plus 130 and the sum is 180 so they are supplementary so we say complement is the number that uh, completes to 90 and supplement is the number that completes to 180 and the other examples 30 60 is the complement and 150 is the supplement 55 so 35 is the complement and 125 is the supplement